fish. Many fish. Is this thing working? Long time no see. It's August 8th, 2017. And I wanted to share something with you again. This, I think I shared this with you guys before, but if not, I am now. Um, in my younger days, down in the Boston area, I was quite ambitious. And I spent some time with the fraternity. The, at the lodge, if you will. And uh, that was a while ago, and that's the past. But it has given me a little bit of different kind of look on things, biblically, to be honest with you. And uh, this is the Bible I was presented with when I was raised to Master Mason. A third degree completion. And I just wanted to show you that uh, my lodge was St. Mark's. Can you see that? I can't see on this stupid camera. St. Mark's, you see that? Uh, yeah, and so it goes through all kinds of stuff. There's there's all kinds of extra added tidbits in here. Albert Pike's writings and various Bible quotes that they explain in their own kind of language. But right here, it's describing how the Masons became involved with Solomon and Solomon's temple. And if you go in the Bible, we'll go through it in a minute, but in uh, 1 Kings uh, particularly, you know, uh, Solomon uh, got some help from Hiram, King Hiram, I believe the king of Tyre to the north of Judah. And he sent many, many workers to help Solomon uh, build the temple. And it's very interesting, and it gave me a much better idea of exactly where the temple was and so I did that on my Google Maps and that's generally just going by the general description of what they say in the Masons this is pretty much where I came up with the temple was and this is the temple right here this is the courtyard around it 200 400 uh, blah 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 so you know I love my maps and so I just start going, you know, to various uh, landmarks. And I started with going from the temple to Mount Zion, right? This is where King David's tomb is. And they it's one of the places that they think the Last Supper was held. And I draw a line. And temple, 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 right here. That line turns out to be uh, 0.88 kilometers. 880 meters we're gonna call it 80 it's too close just be reasonable 2888 feet I'm saying it that's two feet y'all okay so 888 once again right to Mount Zion too I mean right to Mount Zion and of course I have to go and investigate off the other direction the opposite angle uh, it's not quite a 45 degree, but it's pretty close. And that would be this line right here. And that also is 2,888 feet, 880 meters, the whole shebang, okay? And this location is the Church of Jerusalem. And the Church of Jerusalem, let's bring it up here, uh, is a pretty big deal. That is where it's called the mother of all churches of Christendom because it was where Jerusalem church was established on the day of Pentecost with the descent of the Holy Spirit on the disciples of Jesus Christ. From Jerusalem, the gospel of Christ was spread to the world. So they're saying that this church, you know, I don't know all the exact history, but it's a big deal. And it's also 888 from the Temple Mount, according to the Masons' location, as best as I can do. And of course, we got to now do our line across. That's what we do, right? And you guessed it, folks. We got ourselves a perfect triangle. 880 meters, 0.88 kilometers, 2,888 feet. You just, you know, come on now. So, you might say, so what, right? 
Well, I'd say that's kind of, I don't know, telling maybe? You think there was some kind of, you know, grand layout here? And do you think it was men, you know, literally laying this out? And remember, I told you about St. Mark's, remember? My, that's my lodge, my Masonic lodge, St. Mark's Church. This is the other location that there are many who believe is the place of the Last Supper. St. Mark's Monastery, right here, this place. Okay, now if I take that and use that as a starting place, okay, I'm going back to the last video I did on the Gay Pride Parade. I'm sure you all, if you watch that, you probably wouldn't forget it, I wouldn't think. And that was uh, about this here, this parade route, okay. And my, I had drawn from the Mount of Olives, and it came right down and surrounded the Temple Mount. Well, if I go from St. Mark's, okay, and I go to those same starting points as to where the uh, Gay Pride Parade started, right there. Same thing, 888. Go the other direction, same angle, 888. Where does that bring me? To the finishing point, basically, of the Gay Pride Parade. And once again, the cross section is 888. Now, again, what does all this mean? I don't know. I never even would have looked at this if I didn't see the St. Mark's. Is this thing still on here? Yeah, okay. In my, in this, bringing back my past, I dug this out. And this is telling me, according to the Masons, who, uh, you know, were working hand in hand with Solomon. Okay? This is all true. Up in the King and Tyre, right? And the design of the temple is very interesting as well. When you, when you look at the designs that we see people drawing out, you know, looking for the, the original temple, you see this design because it's spelled out in the Bible, in Kings. In First Kings, it tells you the dimensions of all the chambers and everything. Well, up in that area where Hiram sent his stonemasons and his uh, craftsmen, and all his good cedar and everything down to build Solomon's temple. They teamed up together. Hiram, king of Tyre. And this temple they found up in that area. It's up in Syria. The layout for this temple is almost exactly what the layout for Solomon's temple would be. It's just wider. That's it. Everything else is exactly the same. The pillars, columns, the... The way that the rooms are divided up, even the, the rooms on the sides, everything's exactly the same. So, of course, my little curiosity grabs hold of me, and I go from King Solomon's temple here all the way up to that, that temple up there in Syria. And that's this line right here. And I'm not kidding you. You can check this yourself. I'll give you the name of it. It's called uh, the Endara Endara Temple. And if I can get to the end here for you, it's going to kind of blow your mind a little bit. And there it is, right there. The Andara Temple. And I mean, I'm literally right in that thing. And from the Temple Mount to that temple, and I am not making this up, is literally 330 three or six miles i mean 336 miles you know what i'm saying i mean how much closer do you want to get that's smack on i could go 333 you know and we're like that close you see what i'm saying what are the chances of that and this guy this hiram king of tyre who the masons claim gave them uh gave solomon his master master builder the master of all master builders Hiram Abiff. He is the hero of the Masonic builders. Okay? Now, I hope you're seeing the, the connections I'm making here. I just found this absolutely fascinating. And I know this is coming from somewhere other than my simpleton little brain when this winds up, I mean, leading me to this. 
where years ago, this is where I was like spending my time with these guys at St. Mark's Lodge. Are you kidding me? Come on now. You can't make this stuff up, y'all. So the reason I'm putting this out to you is to show, number one, how God works and how he communicates to us and shows us things. And two, how Satan can actually work as well, because this kind of thing can lead people down rabbit trails for years and really not avail much. And I'm not claiming that this is availing anything other than the grand architect at work. And that we see a very intricate relationship between Solomon's temple, Solomon's life, Solomon's palace, and this king of Tyre, Tyre, who was Babylonian. That's what they were. Who were Egyptian. It all comes from the Egyptian. Whatever your name is for them, they're here on this earth, and this is how they work. And they've infiltrated even right down into Jerusalem, right down into the temple they tie their little messages into. But this one, I believe, is a good one. Perfect triangle to the holy places. The Holy Spirit was given here. King David buried here, and perhaps the Last Supper as well. And then the Holy of Holies. Not why it was destroyed. I think that's because the old children of Israel did bad, bad things. And they're still doing bad, bad things. And God's going to give them another chance. So they better repent. Seek Jesus. Know he is the Messiah. The Messiah. Praise God. Peace and grace, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 